How do you show a list of all of your highlights in the Logos mobile app? That is what we're going to talk about in today's video. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is Fitz Critter. Welcome to the Minister's Corner. And I received that particular question in the open from a viewer named Daryl. So I decided to put together this quick video to show how you can see all of your highlights in the mobile app. So I've got logos pulled up on my iPad. I'm sure everything is the same if you're on Android. And so let's go ahead and take a look to see how we do this. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just tap on my preferred translation here, which is the ESV. And then I want to click on the tools sort of waffle iron icon down there at the bottom of the screen. And if you don't see it, so perhaps your view is like this, all you have to do is just do a single tap. And I talked about this in the previous Logos video. So where it says tools, I want to tap on the tools icon down there at the bottom. And the first thing I want to say is, whenever you create a highlight, whether it's desktop or mobile, you are actually adding an entry into your notes section on Logos. So that is where we want to go to take a look at all of our highlights. So. I would click on the notes icon right there on the very first line. And it opens up a brand new tab and now I'm in the notes tab. Next, on the left where it says all notes, I wanna tap on that. And so what we're looking at here in this particular view on the left of the screen here is just all of any of the notes I may have taken in the scripture references. So we have to filter in order to see the highlights. So you see the filter icon right next to the field where it says search all notes. So I wanna tap there. And now we see all of our filter options. And the very first filter option you see there is highlights. So I would tap on highlights. And I can even go further. So now I'm looking at, I filter for all the highlights that I've, that I've highlighted. That is any resource. So whether it is a passage of scripture or a paragraph and a commentary, you'll see all of your highlights. I can drill further. So let's say I want all of my highlights in the ESV translation. So I can tap that as well. And I can say, well, I want to look at all of my highlights in the ESV translation from the book of Leviticus. I can tap on there and you can see kind of behind the screen here is already filtering for those particular highlights. I just hit done. And now I see all the highlights that I have for that particular passage of scripture. So if I tap on the first one, for example, then it brings up this sort of uh, notes section. And if I want to actually pull up the scripture, so on the left, so for example, Leviticus 24, 16. If I tap on that, it's gonna open up the uh, new tab and then it's gonna pull up that particular scripture. So here it is, Leviticus 24, uh, verse 16, and this is my highlight. So if I wanna go back, all I have to do is swipe to go back. Or if I want to, I can close this tab all together. I can close this if I want to, that way it kind of clean the area up. And now I'm back. So this is how you see all of your highlights. Now, if you want to clear all of the filters out, of course you can hit on the X here to get rid of a particular filter, or you can go into back into the filters icon again and see where it says clear all. I can tap clear all, and now all of my filters are gone. That is how you would take a look and to view all of your highlights in the Logos app, and it's great because you can drill down to a particular passage. There it is. Go ahead and pull that up, play around with it. And if you have any more questions as it relates to the Logos Bible app, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Well, this is Fitz Criddle. Just want to say God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.